G'day, I'm the Overlander and I want to show you my country, Australia. And the best way to do this is to introduce you to its people. I'm taking a road trip and I want to capture the essence of each location I visit by meeting a local and asking them why they choose to live where they do. Each of the people I interview will have never been in front of a camera before. They're just everyday, real Aussie characters. I'm starting my journey in Melbourne, the capital of Victoria, and will travel right up the east coast, chasing the sun. After Israel, Australia is the most culturally diverse country in the world. It is made up of over 120 different ethnic groups. And no better place to see this all work is at Melbourne's Queen Victoria Markets. It's also a good place to pick up some bargains and some fine food. Talking of food, I doubt there would be many other places in the world where you can sample the fare of so many different countries as in Melbourne. Tonight I'm dining at a restaurant with an Aussie flavour where you can eat such unusual dishes as kangaroo, crocodile or possum. I'm tucking into a bit of dead roux. Melbournians see themselves as living in the cultural centre of Australia and a reflection of this can be seen in a strong local music scene. Every night the sound of music wafts out of pubs and clubs right across the city. I decided to interview local singer Wendy Rule to discover what it is she loves about living in Melbourne. There's like a need for me to perform. I suppose that being a musician only Part of the journey is writing the music and performance is, is an art form in itself so I have a need to actually follow through and release what I've created. I really honestly love Melbourne. Its beauty is not quite so apparent as somewhere like Sydney. Melbourne is a little more ancient and serpentine, there's something otherworldly about it. I like some of the little secret places, some of the less obvious places. I, I very much like the botanical gardens and I wander through there a lot. And in the botanical gardens there's a beautiful temple called the Temple of the Winds that's a sort of neoclassic little round thing. It's lovely. And there's even a little grove just outside of the botanical gardens too that's, that you can get to at night. It's not fenced off and it's, it's beautiful. I like the city of Melbourne itself, like I hang out in the, in the actual city, I'll cycle in or whatever. On Saturdays I'll go out to the little cafes around De Grave Street and all those little alleyways and stuff like that and you can wander your way through and you're in the heart of the city but it's gentle and protected. The kind of music that I do, which is pretty eclectic and out there, it's amazing that I can gig every week. I don't think there'd be many, many places in the world where that would be the case. 